events of this past year will they you know influence in the writing of you're you're working on a new album right now yeah, correct yeah um they have they will but i'm not trying to write m m relapse over here mm -hmm. like uh for me it's I, i've got my moments or lines where i address it but it doesn't it's not an overtone of the whole record. The main thing for me to use in the music therapeutically is to just write fun stuff. Yeah. You know, I've, I've read about some writers who, are, when they're in a dark spot and when they're even out of it, they have to write a dark record. Yeah. They just have to exercise just their demons. Do it. Yeah. But for me, it's I need to write a fucking poppy ass, a happy record so yeah. I can always be smiling when I'm <laughs> playing it. I don't want to, like, every single, or imagine every day of your life, you're just all chipper. Yeah. And then at night you have to get into this dark character and fuck <laughs> my life. You know, it's bullshit. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's Living just the double life. happy. Yeah. That's good, that's good. So, like, um, cute, um, looking at the website, I see mainly you on there. So yes, is, there, is there a new lineup or is it just you now? Got or? a touring band um, with some really cool dudes. Uh, I, I don't see for, or I don't foresee. Mm -hmm any changes but um you never know and and that's one thing before i really solidify anything and, mm -hmm. and they feel the same way is we want to make sure it's right because it's it's been rushed so many times in the past and yeah it's come to uh come back to to bite okay so now you, yeah you're gonna take it nice and slow and you know yeah do exactly. everything the proper Just way do things right instead of what happened a few years ago using the knowledge that i learned through the chaos prior to this and applying it to now has really been interesting and extremely beneficial i guess the the best part about it is being able to do it and be happy mm -hmm. it's, it sounds so stupid but you you're told you're living a dream but when you're miserable yeah. you can't see it as that but finally like coming out of it and and seeing it for what it is, this is the coolest fucking job <laughs> ever. Like, who, who would trade this? It's like, it, this, I'm in a literally, or a literal green room right now, <laughs> doing an interview with probably $50,000 worth of guitars and drums and stuff, and just hanging out, and this is the everyday. There you go. With really interesting there you people. Go. So That's the life now. That, that's it, yeah. <laughs> so you're obviously this is obviously going to see you know open more eyes for you so are you learning how to appreciate what you what you have gained with it you know the touring the band the fans the everything i certainly think so uh it's i don't know if it were up to me i would almost not play shows and just be able to um connect Mm -hmm. with with individuals and and to see how people work and to see how their minds operate and it sounds stupid but my most which is crazy because i used to hate it but my most en enjoyable moments mm -hmm. are right after we play staying outside with, with them yeah with the supporters like there were two, a 14 and 15 year old girl in mm -hmm. Tempe, Arizona the other night. We were waiting until midnight for a cab. Wow. Yeah, but I mean, come on, that's insane. So yeah. of course I'm gonna wait there with them and make sure that the cab driver knows that that's my little sister. Yeah. And she means the world <laughs> to me and she needs to get to her destination, okay? Hey, that's awesome though, that's awesome. But it's, it's those I'm, I'm things I'm sure you matter. made their day. Well, I, I, well let's, <laughs> even if I did, how, how much skin is that off my back? No, exactly. You know, if you have that, that power, why wouldn't you use it for good? Yeah. Like, like a good moment, not like, yeah, and he went off with a slut and never came back. It's yeah. like, that's beat, you know? But that happens all the time. No, that's true. You know? So, fuck that's that. That's true. <laughs> You're a different kind of person. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah <laughs> kindly put. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> So as far as the new album, is there any expected dates for this possible release or uh, yeah, a it's possible new this it? year? I wanna, I know when I want to do it, but I'm not gonna pigeonhole myself for mm -hmm. that because that's always a pain in the ass. <laughs> um, it's I want to do it this year. Half of it's done. Tons of demos, more so than I have ever had before, and I feel good about it. Right? Yeah, it's about time. There's a lot I want to do, and it may not have to do with music, mm -hmm. but I think. There are a lot of people our age and younger that are selling themselves short and mm -hmm. what they're capable of and what they should know. Mm -hmm. 
and the things that they can do. So, I don't know, I, I definitely want to want to have a presence in just empowering uh, our... Maybe doing a little speaking? Chicks and dudes you're... like us. Maybe, yeah, that, that would be really cool. It's just a matter of I would have to uh, compile my thoughts a little bit yeah. more because I'm a little bit of a scatterbrain. <laughs> yeah. Whatever works for you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, just touring, music, and maybe some more and some inspiration. Cool. Well, we definitely want to hear more from you. Thank you very so, much. And, you know, best of wishes with all that, and I'm glad you're doing a lot better. Thanks. You look better, too. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The bar was set fucking low. <laughs> we keep ourselves on Is up to you and don't forget to check the other yes we are so serious